Well, good evening, Mia, Tanya, and Connie. And Connie, hi. And Connie's just doing uh, scratch tickets, and uh, oh, it'll be nice, but we'll see what happens. Anyways. Um, I went all the stinking time, folks. Oh, yeah, she comes out with hundreds and what have you sometimes. Sometimes you get a couple bucks here. It just depends on the job. She's never won big, but well, you never know. Hey, I won a flipping barbecue. Barbecue, a Washington State. She won the lottery, the Washington State lottery. She got a barbecue out of the deal, and it fell apart. <laughs> yes, it did. But anyway, it was good while it lasted. It was. It was good to the last crunch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened to it, too. It got going. I crunched it. Anyways, um, we're kicking back tonight and uh, enjoying the evening. We're about ready to go in because it's getting about ready to get foggy again. Actually, it is foggy right now. That's why I'm having a hard time seeing it. The fog's here. Oh, it is. Yeah. It hit us that fast. Oh, Lord, we're in the middle of the fog. All right, that's why it's kind of fo uh, it's foggy. Yeah, no joke. It's foggy. Well, the fog gets so thick out here where we're at that it actually rains it it was hitting the tent so hard this morning that i actually thought we were in a rain shower no it's all the water hitting the the cottonwood and the maple out here it's just drenching us so it's like lord almighty anyways um we're about ready to call it quits had a good night tonight connie took me out to dinner tonight to red robin um, early birthday. Early birthday, but you know what the hell, we needed a break tonight anyway, so we're going to be looking at getting a trailer here in the next whenevers, and uh, you know, hopefully here in the next day or so, maybe in the next week or so, it doesn't I'm, matter. I'm thinking Sunday. Sunday, it doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to be getting something here soon, and we're going to be getting out of the tents that we're in, and the tents basically will be used for like office space at this point. And that's about all they're going to be used for. And a maybe workshop, And a workshop yeah. or whatever. But, you know, we're not going to take them, you know, what have you. No, we still have access to it and what have you. And then uh, we're getting stuff in storage and we're trying to figure out what we're going to cut down. Because, you know, bohemian type lifestyle, it's kind of starting to sink into us. And it's not that bad. It's just we got to find out where to live. We did find and out. get some, water. We, and that's what I was just about ready to get into the one thing that I'm finding, and I learned about this years ago, and just think about what happened in World War II. And I don't care. You call it conspiracy. I don't give a shit. All right? But what I do care about is water and the access to the right to anywhere in America, and you can't do it. You can't live anywhere in the National Forest out here in Washington State because it's blocked up. And try to get some drinking water if you don't own it or you're not able to steal it. Or you can't distill it out of the, the rivers or what have you. God, the river out here has got polluted crud just up the, up the, the thing because they've got wastewater treatment up there. And this is the water that we're doing. What crud? I put a towel on there. It came out and it was black. So that's not just glacier foul hour, po folks. So we're not going to be here forever. We're here for a little bit. It's still good water. It's just got stuff in it, grit and everything, you know, so... It's not my my idea to go bathe. But at least if we get a trailer, we you can, know, if the rains come in, we'll be we'll be drier. At least we're drier. We got warmth in there because of insulation. We can work on it out here, get it fixed up, and we're going to be doing this on the road. So we're going to get our base. You know, we'll set up our base house, our address, permanent address. But we're not going to be stuck in one area. So basically, that's our storage. And then we go back there once a year or whatever it is to, or whenever it is, you know, it's livable for us all year round or whatever we're doing. But um, we're going to be doing some stuff different in our lives. We're not just, we're, we're getting too old to be doing tent life, but in, in the, the mobile homes or trailers or whatever, RVs and what have you, no, we can do that. It's no big, you know, it's, it's actually not that bad of a lifestyle. It's just everything's condensed and I don't have to worry about dusting so much anymore. Trailer life, I've had it. We had 12 and a half years of it. It sucked when we had a kid in there, but the two of us, we were okay. So we're going to figure stuff out and I don't know, we might come visit you guys. Either way, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, we want a house. I like running water, all right? So we're still not giving up. I'll find out this week if we get a place or not. Either way, something's happening here real soon, and 
we'll figure out the rest. But with a trailer, at least we've got something more than a tent. And when the rains come, we can get the heck out of here. Because this water comes up real fast, folks. I mean, we're only like 15 feet above, above the, the water line. And in that 15 feet, we've seen that go in one day. So that's all it takes. It gets about 20, you know, we get, it gets steep out here, folks. That's when, when this valley got cut off and our bridge was on CNN News, um, my daughter, Callie, um, she wound up, we, we were on our way up to go see Grandma. And she was basically the last one across the bridge because, I mean, it came up that quick. I mean, yeah. we just barely got through coming back down. Yeah. It was starting Or to, you would have been on that side of the bridge. Or we would have been on that yeah. side of the bridge. Yeah, yeah. and then I would have been out there with no wife or anything for, God, it was almost like four, five, six days, something like that. No, you, we got back. We got... Out of here, out. it was when it had the roads were were uh, crumpled up and everything. No, that was about four or five days, hon. Honey, it took two days for them to get the uh, another route for us to get out of here. It only took two days. We were uh, the second day we could have gone. Well, how come I was still here four or five days before I could go anywhere? I don't know, but I, I don't either. It only taken a couple days. No, it took about four or five days. Oh, okay. Because I couldn't get in. Because I worked at AT&T, and I couldn't get in. I had to take I had to take time off on that. I took, you know, I was on a weekend or something like that. It was somewhere in around the line, and I had to take like about three days pay, a sick pay, because I could not get off here. We were an island, or get fired. You know, it's AT&T. You can't argue with them guys. Well, we did. We did. Whatever. Anyways, long story short. We're going to get this out of here for you tonight. <laughs> How about that? No argument. We're just tired. We've had a long day. It's been beautiful. And uh, tomorrow's going to be, we're here together. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun. We don't have to get up super early. <laughs> uh, anyways, peace from Connie and Mia Tanya. Some of the weird girls, proudly weird. <laughs>